What's going on my detailing fam? Thank you for tuning in to another video. I recently had an experience with a customer that wasn't a good experience. Being as though we just hit our one year anniversary in September and we're still new on the scene, I didn't know how to handle the situation. So let me tell you about the situation as I load up the SUV for my next detail and how I handle it. I got this customer through a previous customer of mine. This customer seen the work that I performed on their friend's car, which I performed a complete detailed interior and exterior. And they liked the work, so they wanted to reach out to me so they can work with me. They reached out to me, called me, and then we set up a date and a time. They was happy to work with me, and I was stoked at the opportunity that they was giving me. This was one of the biggest jobs that we ever performed so far. After getting the customer's information about the vehicle, they, they informed me that it haven't been cleaned in over a year. It's been sitting in the woods and it was a lot of work that needed to be done. So after getting some pictures, I quoted them a quote of four figures. They agreed to it and we was good to go. The communication was flawless. A couple of days before the detail, the customer contacted me and informed me if I was to come across or what items I come across as far as the interior go, where to place them. And the day before, I sent out a confirmation text. They confirmed and we was all set. The day that we arrived, I called the customer let them know that I was there, me and the crew. So they informed me that they wouldn't be there and that their relative would be there. So when their relative showed up, we did the walk around of the vehicle. He told me some problem areas that uh, they wanted me to focus on. I informed them that we'd take care of everything. So after uh, we did the walk around, he went ahead and left. We proceeded to go ahead and start the detail. Once we was finished with the detail, I reached out to the customer to let them know that we was finished. They informed me that they was working out of state, so that was their reason of them not being able to be there. So they informed me that they will be home later on that evening around five, six o'clock, which that day was actually a Friday that we completed the detail. I stated to the customer, when they get home, to go ahead and do a walkthrough, let me know if there's anything that they wasn't satisfied with, and we'll be sure to take care of them. Nothing I like more than a happy customer. So the customer stated to me that they wanted to set up their next vehicle for a detail. So I just told them, I said, once you go ahead and do the walkthrough, and you call me and let me know what you think, then we can go ahead and set up an appointment for your next vehicle. I let the customer know that I will be sending them the invoice and all they had to do was view the invoice, enter their card information, and that'll be the way that they pay. And they agreed to it. So 6 p.m. rolls around, no call from the customer, no text message, no email. Eight, nine o'clock roll around, Still, no word from the customer. So with my invoices, I use QuickBooks, and the way I have it set up, it gives you 24 hours to pay the invoice. So the invoice wouldn't be late until approximately 3 o'clock on Saturday. So Saturday rolls around, 12 o'clock, still nothing from the customer. So now I started getting worried because I know it's just a few hours left before the invoice is actually late. I didn't know what to do, so I started reaching out to other people, asking for advice. So I reached out to another detailer. I was sending text messages, trying to find out, did the customer do the walkthrough? What did they think? Did they have any issues? No responses I was getting, so I decided to call. Nobody was answering the phone. So then, you know, I was getting advice as far as people saying you could take a lane out on the vehicle, 
You can try to sue the person. I was getting all types of different types of advice. So you know what I did? At the end of the day, I just prayed and I let God handle it. Come that Sunday, the customer paid me finally. I was happy that I got paid and it was a relief that I didn't have to go to any um, different measures to try to get paid. So, you know, I want to know, have you guys ever ran across a situation like this before where you've been ghosted by a customer? And what did you do to handle that situation? How did you handle it? Like I said, we're still new. We just hit one year as far as our business being open. So there's still things that we're coming across that we haven't dealt with before. So that's why I wanted to make this video to show you what you may run across in your business and to try to give you a heads up of have a plan in place so if something like this does happen you know how to take care of it. you know how to handle the situation but thank you all for tuning in and like always i catch you all in the next one stay blessed peace